Grace Ali J. Hayoma, a BA graduate major in general content course. Um, now I am going to present my teaching demonstration. And I want you to show this lesson plan. This one. So I'm going to start now. Okay, please stand for the prayer. Name the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, thank you. Can you... Um, before you sit down, can you please pick up the pieces of paper on the floor and arrange your chairs as well? Okay, thank you. You can sit down now. Is there anybody absent today? No, very good. Okay, so last time we discussed about verb. Can Who can tell me what is a verb? Yes, Jaya. Okay, very good. Verb is an action word or a state of being. How about the two types of verbs? Yes, JM. Okay, very good. The action verb and the linking verb. Can you give me an example of an action verb? Yes, Twinkle. Okay, very good. Dance. How about the linking verb? Okay, very good. Alexa, R. So now, before we proceed to our new lesson, let's have a game. Do you want it? Okay, let's start. The game is what we call the charades. So the mechanics of the game is the class will be divided into two groups. And I have here a container. Inside of these are words that you need to act, okay? Each group must have a representative who will pick a word from the box or from this container, okay? Next, while the representative of each group is acting the word, then the rest of the members should guess the act. And each group will be given 30 seconds only to guess the correct words. And the group who will get the higher score will be the winner. Okay, let's start. What have you noticed about our game? Yes, twinkle. Very good. The game or the words are examples of a verb. So what are those examples or what are those words? Dance, play, act. Okay, those words are what we call what types of verb? Action verb. Action verb and linking verb can we use in simple present tense. Now, our lesson for today, or we will discuss simple present tense so what is simple present tense simple present tense express habitual action present state or a condition and general truth or facts okay in simple present tense all we have to do or remember all we have to do is to add an s or es to the verb but we make sure that the subject should agree with the verb what does it mean if the subject is singular, then the verb will also be singular or without S. And if the subject is plural, then the verb will also be plural or with S. Do you have any question? None so far. Okay, let's proceed. Let's have the form for simple present tense. So we have the subject plus the verb plus an object. Example, Nancy loves ice cream. Our subject here is Nancy. Our verb here is loves, and our object here is ice cream. So since Nancy is singular, then we will have also a singular verb, which is loves, with S. Okay? Next example. We love ice cream. Our subject is we. Our verb is love, and our object is ice cream. Our subject is a plural, which is we. That's why we will use a plural verb. Okay? Do you have any question? None so far. Okay, let's proceed. Let's go now to the uses of simple present tense. First is the habitual action. What does it mean? When we say habitual action, it refers to the repeated or regular actions, usually used with adverbs always, often, normally, usually, sometimes, and etc. And also, we need to have the time expressions. All the time, every, most, and the like. Okay? So, example for this, for the habitual action. Tom goes fishing every week. This sentence belongs to habitual action because of the time expression, every week. And we use the verb goes with ES because our subject is Tom and Tom is singular. That's why we will use also a singular verb. You understand? Okay, next, uh, next example. Dad always cooks the dinner, okay, because of the time expression always. Cooks because of the subject singular, which is dad, okay? And 
answer this one. Yes, JM. John always blank a bus to school every morning. What will be the answer? Use the verb right. Very good, right? Because of the subject. Next, number two. Oh, sorry. Brushes. Very good. Next. Let's proceed now to present state or condition. What does it mean? The second uses. Refers to the present time or action, meaning at this moment. So, the example for this is, Jenny reads a book right now, okay, right now at this moment. Number two, the weather today is cool. So, it is the present because of the today, time expression today. Okay, next, can you please answer this one? Yes, Andre. We blank a new car. Very good. Want because of our subject plural we. So that's why we use a plural verb. Number two, yes, Alexa. They blank hide and seek today. Very good. Play. Okay. Now let's proceed to the third one. The last uses general truth or facts. What does it mean? It refers to the general information about the subject, meaning everyone knows about the information. Example for this, God loves us with all his heart. So this sentence, we all know that God loves us with all his heart, right? Next sentence, the moon shines at night. Okay, it's under understandable that the moon shines every night. Okay, next, answer this one. Yes, Donald, the earth blank around the sun. Very good, goes around the sun. Next, number two, yes, Cindy. The sun blank in the east, rises in the east. So do you have any question? Okay, none so far. So now let's have a game activity. Row 1 and row 2 will be the group 1. Row 3 and row 4 will be the group 2. What you're going to do is to select, where go, what you're going to do is to select the word or the correct answer or the correct simple present tense from the parenthesis to complete the sentence and the one who will um, answer it first correctly will have the point okay let's start number one my brother blank watches watch tv every day so what is the correct answer go okay very good group one watches how about number two angel likes like ice cream go okay very good likes group one also again Next, number three, stones is our heart. Yes, very good. Group two, R. How about last one? It blank is our very cold outside. Okay, very good. Group one. So, the answer is, is the winner for this game is group one. Can you give them a round of applause? Okay. So, now, do you have any question or clarification? Again, what are the three uses in simple present tense? Yes, Donald. Okay, the habitual action, the present state or condition, and the general truth or facts. So, can you give me an example for habitual action? Yes, Jaya. Okay, very good. She goes um, fishing every week. Very good. How about for present state? Yes, Twinkle. She belongs to the first group. Very good. And the last, the general truth. Um, yes, Andre. Okay, God loves us with all his heart. Very good. So, do you have any question? Clarification? None so far. Okay, so for your assignment, kindly, kindly please take note this one. Make four sentences of simple present tense of a verb. Okay, so no question. So, please stand for, the, for our prayer. Name the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. So goodbye class. See you tomorrow.